Hey folks, today let's learn how to create custom frames in Canva. It doesn't matter whether you're a free or a pro user, all you need is PowerPoint in order to create these custom frames. So here are a few frames I've mocked up in PowerPoint. And as you can see, if we drag an image into them, they all work as proper frames. So in order to do this, let's hop over to PowerPoint first. Now that you've opened up PowerPoint and gone to a blank page, we can start creating a custom shape. I'll create the first shape that I showed you. So I'll add a bit of text. I'll adjust the font and the font size. And the next thing I'll need to do is convert this text into a shape. So I'll go over to our shapes, draw a rectangle, send it to back, select the rectangle and then select the shape pressing control. We can go over to merge shapes and then click on intersect. Now our text has been converted into a fully editable vector shape. And then I want to add a circle around this text. So I'll go over and grab this donut. I'll adjust the borders. And then I'll select the donut, select the text, go back to merge shapes and click on union. Now this entire thing has become one single shape. We can also remove the shape outline. The next thing we need to do is fill an image into this shape. So I'll just open a new slide. I'll go over to insert and I'll insert a stock picture. Anything will do, it doesn't matter what. So let's just grab the first image we see. Let it download onto our slide. Now let's copy this image. Let's go over back to our shape, right click on it. Go to Format Shape, go to Fill, and click on Picture or Texture. And since we've copied that image, it's in our clipboard. So all we need to do is press Clipboard, and it will fill that image into our shape. We can now delete the second slide. The next thing we need to do is save this presentation as a PDF. So go over to your Save Options, and save it as a PDF in whatever folder you need to. Once you've saved your presentation as a PDF, we're done with PowerPoint for now. So let's head back to Canva. Let's open a new slide. And then let's go over to File and Import Files. Just drag and drop your PDF into this and it will automatically upload it onto Canva. Then just click on your newly uploaded file and it should import itself onto your new slide. Then let's see if that actually worked. Let's select our shape and press delete on it once. And as you see, the image disappeared, leaving the Canva frame behind. Now we can go over to Elements, let's go over to Pictures and just try dragging and dropping an image into this. And it was that easy. Using PowerPoint you can create any kind of shapes you want, save them as a PDF and you have unlimited creativity to create Canva frames for free. As a bonus tip to our Canva Pro users. If you don't want to be bothered by creating your own custom shapes, there's a pretty easy way you can do it using Canva itself. Let's hop over to a new slide. In your elements section, look for the kind of shape you want. It's better if you're a pro user for this because you will have access to a lot more shapes. Let's find a silhouette that we can use. Let's go over to graphics, scroll around, find whatever you want. 
Say you want to turn this flower shape into a frame. Let's make it a little larger. And the real reason why you need to be a Canva Pro for this is not only the extra options you get in graphics, but the fact that you need to save this shape as an SVG. And that's only available in Pro. So once you've selected a shape, go over to Share, go to Download, select the type of file you want, go over to SVG, and you see there's a Pro sign there. So just click on SVG and then click on download. Wait for this to get downloaded. And once it's downloaded, as you see, it's downloaded as a zip file. Unzip the SVG and pop it into PowerPoint. So I'll quickly do that now. Once you've extracted your SVG, just copy and paste it onto a new slide in PowerPoint. Then once it's pasted, go over to Convert to Shape and click on it. As you see, it's fragmented everything into separate shapes. Let's delete all the unnecessary things like this white background. There may be multiple layers that we don't need. So you can select everything and double check that the only thing we need is available there. Select all the fragmented shapes. Go back to Merge Shapes. Click on Union. And just like we did in the previous shape, let's fill this with an image. Having done that, we follow the same steps again of saving this as a PDF. So let's quickly do that again. Save as PDF. And as soon as you've saved it, we can hop back into Canva. Let's go over to a fresh page. And then once again, let's drag our new PDF straight in to the Canva projects. Let's go over to test two. Click on our frame and it's appeared. So that's a quick and easy way for Canva Pro users to create almost any kind of frame that you can think of. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.